Hello, I'm Diane Alston, Extension Entomologist with Utah State University, and we're at the Kaysville Research Farm today, and we're talking about woolly apple aphid. So the first section we talked about is biology, its life cycle, how it overwinters on the tree, and now we're going to talk a little bit about its management. So there is some natural biological control, and one of the most uh, effective biocontrol agents is a parasitic wasp that is specific to woolly apple aphid called Aphelinus mali. The challenge with this parasitoid wasp is that it doesn't tend to build up in population size until later in the summer. And that's too late to provide good suppression of woolly apple aphid in terms of economic um, reduction to protect fruit uh, crop yield. So there are a handful of generalist predators that are also very effective. So these include um, a number of species of lady beetles. Here at the Kaysville farm, we've seen the convergent lady beetle as well as the Asian multicolored spotted lady beetle. Also, surfid fly larvae um, are good predators, as well as green lacewing larvae and some of, several species of predatory true bugs. Also, even European earwigs, which can be a pest on fruit crops as well, but they are also a predator, so they're omnivorous in their feeding habit, habits, and they will also feed on woolly apple aphid, and they're not deterred by the wax, waxy, woolly, cover, white covering, um, they'll chew into that and get into feed on the aphids. Another common way, or probably the most common way, that uh, commercial producers manage woolly apple aphids, aphids is with insecticides. So back in the, the 80s and early 90s, when organophosphate insecticides were commonly used for codling moth control and other key pests, such as leaf rollers, um, we didn't have as many woolly apple aphid issues. And as we transitioned away from an organophosphate based insecticide program, we've noticed that woolly apple aphid populations have increased. So there's two key kind of timings for managing woolly apple aphid. The first is if you had a problem in an orchard the previous year or without pruning the orchard that um, late winter, early spring, you notice overwintering populations in the tree, you can use a delayed dormant spray. So it's best to do this with a, with a dormant oil and then add a very um, strong product like diazinon um, into the mix. And that is fairly effective on suppressing early populations of woolly apple aphid. The next opportunity is going to be after bloom. And these are going to be materials that you're going to be targeting to apply on the tree while the aphids are active. So the main product here in Utah that we've had good success with is Ultor. And this is the common name Spirotetramat. It's in a group of insecticides called tetronic and tetramic acids, or it's um, insecticide resistance group number 23. And the unique feature about this particular insecticide is it has what's called two-way sy systemic movement. So that means when you apply it as a spray on the tree, it's taken up by the foliage and by the, by the stems, by the twigs, by the new growth, and it moves upward, so up moving into other shoots, but it also moves downwards and it moves down into the roots of the tree. And a study that we did a number of years ago, um, we actually were taking out trees that had had woolly apple aphid that were or were not treated with Ultor insecticide. And we found that the aphids on the, the overwintering root galls were also very suppressed or, or non-existent where we had used Ultor, but where we had not used Ultor, there were a lot of aphids on the tree root galls. So that's a unique kind of mode of action. Another group of insecticides that has also shown some good efficacy on woolly apple aphids is the product called Closer, which is the um, chemical name sulfoxiflor. And this is in the neonicotinoid group. It's a sulfoxamine in the group 4C. And this product does not have the two-way systemic, systemic movement, but it does have sy so local systemic uptake where it's taken up locally in the area where, it, where it's applied on the tree. And it's good on suppressing um, insects that feed in the phloem tissue, such as woolly apple aphid. In this particular tr uh, trial or study that we're standing in here today, we did uh, an assessment of comparing Ultor, the insecticide that I mentioned is very effective, against some new chemistries. 
Unfortunately, we didn't see that the new chemistries worked that well. Um, they work well on other species of aphids, but not on a woolly apple aphid, which is one of our more tough aphids to manage. And so in this particular trial, we've seen very good results. We're almost completely clean trees where we applied Ultor um, just after petal fall, and then again two weeks later, as compared to these other uh, novel insecticides that we were looking at to see if they would also have efficacy, but unfortunately we didn't see that.